Hey folks, Dr. Rob Jones here, heydrrob.com. So if you've been following my previous videos, we've been talking about backbreakers, right? Movements while you're exercising that are gonna break the spine down, okay? If the spine is moving while you're exercising, or if it's not in the right position, it's breaking down. It's that simple. We talked about over and over and over again, and I repeat this over and over again, ad nauseum, you're probably sick of me hearing it, about keeping the spine in lordosis, okay? This good curve in the spine, when it's not in this position, it's gonna break down, it's that simple, okay? So my last backbreaker was the sit-up, because it's movement-based. Uh, one previous to that were burpees movement based okay horrible guys don't move your spine through a range of motion when you're working it this is a bit of a rant video today it's another backbreaker again in the protect your back 101 series again this is all laid out in my book protect your back 101 okay had a patient come in earlier today okay and again i'm a little frustrated by this because the fitness industry okay the certifying bodies Guys, you're, if you're, if you're, I don't even know what the label is for these things. If you're getting certified by these bodies, they're teaching you wrong, okay? They're 10 to 15 years behind the science. I had fixed up this woman. She's a really fit fitness instructor. I fixed her up a couple years ago, taught her all the backbreakers, which, is, which exercises to stay away from, which ones to do and substitute, how to set up her spine. She comes in with a disc problem again. And I said to her, what have you been doing? And she said, well, I'm going to these fitness conferences because I want to get smarter and I want to know more from my clients so I can teach them better and help them be fit. Awesome. I love it. Okay. But here's the problem. The certifying bodies are teaching them flat back and pull the belly button back. Ugh, drive me crazy. Drive me nuts. I say this over and over and over again. Don't flatten the spine. Okay. You need to be in lordosis okay 35 degrees that is where your spine derives its, its stability from if you flatten your back out okay we actually have a clinical name for this it's called a lordosis you see it on an x-ray okay the spine is straight up we also have other cases called reverse lordosis these are clinical cases these create pathology in the spine they create disc issues they create ligament issues so when you work out you never want to flat back, okay guys? You want lordosis always when you're training. I can't preach this enough. And sorry if I'm a little emotional and frustrated because I feel like this is falling on deaf ears, okay? I'm one voice and there's a gazillion wrong voices out there, okay? She says flat back, meaning the instructors are telling them when you lay on your back, flatten your spine to the ground. And again, we've talked about this. Guess what happens? There's a lordosis right there, okay? Clinical case, we see that on x-ray, we go, ooh, alerosis, we need to fix this because the discs are gonna to start to break down because they're squeezing in the front and pushing the fluid to the back. Keep your lordosis, okay? I'm not talking either being hyperextended. I'm talking when you're standing, squeeze your butt, brace your core, now you're in perfect lordosis. That's it, the end, simple. And when you're exercising, don't get out of that position, okay? She was saying, but, but, but when we're on our back, they say, to support our spine, we've got to get flat back. When we're standing and we're doing squats, we want to get flat back. Again, if you're in a fitness class, if you're reading an article, watching a DVD, any of the above, and you hear flat back, all I want you to think is keep lordosis. And the easiest way to do so is simply squeeze your butt, brace your core, don't hyperextend, don't flatten your spine, just squeeze your butt, brace your core. You're in lordosis, you're neutral, you're perfect. So, the rant that I've just been on is really my backbreaker for the day. Okay, where do I put my deal? In my pocket. Okay, so, back breaker. Okay, we know backbreakers move the spine, they twist the spine, they flex the spine, they put it under load while it's out of position, right? We need to have lordosis. We never, ever, ever want to flat back. So our back breaker for the day is never use flat back 
as a cue to if your instructor, never use it for your clients. If you're a client or if you're an exerciser, don't flat back, even if they tell you to, even if the fitness professional tells you to. It's unfortunate that the certifying bodies don't teach them this, okay? But don't flat back, okay? That's number one. Again, keep it on lorosis. That's our backbreaker for the day, no flat back. And another thing is, don't pull your belly button back towards your spine. Again, I'm a little frustrated and a little emotional about this because I've said this literally thousands of times. And I fixed this poor woman's back a couple years ago and she came back broken down again because she went to a fitness conference and they taught fat, flat black, <laughs> flat back, easy for me to say, and belly button back. Okay? We don't want to do either of these. We want to brace, we want to use intra-abdominal pressure, okay? Just like when we're coughing or clearing our throats. <clears throat> It tightens all the way around. If you really want to test this on yourself to make sure you're doing it right, okay, dig your fingers into your obliques. Take your thumbs, dig them into your paraspinals. Now suck your belly button back towards your spine. And what you'll notice is a little contraction through here. It's this weak, thin little muscle called the transverse abdominis. But nothing will occur in your lower back. Now dig your thumbs in, like I said here. Dig your thumbs in here. Clear your throat or cough. <clears throat> and you can see it in the video. <clears throat> Everything tenses. Now, just like in previous videos where I taught you, we tense this. <sighs> we keep the rib cage over the pelvis. We don't flare. We stay neutral. We breathe with the diaphragm up and down while this is staying braced, and we're safe. That's it. The end. No problems. It's simple. So, backbreaker of the day is. Please don't flat back. Please don't belly button back towards your spine. Brace instead. And again, if you really aren't getting this, pick up my book, Protect Your Back 101. It's all in there. It will lay it all out. It will show you the anatomy. And it's really simple. And you won't get hurt. That's the main thing. So again, sorry for the little emotional response, but it's hard when you repeat yourself a gazillion times and it falls on deaf ears. No blame to the patient. She's awesome. She's doing what I'm telling her now and she's going to get better really fast. So for you out there who are in the, in the fitness certifying bodies, learn the science, please, because you, 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 I know your intentions are good, but you're, you're hurting people's backs. So until next time, hope you like this. Uh, don't forget to follow me on socials, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, as always, don't forget to protect your back.